the Holy Spirit put in my heart uh, regarding the uh, official impeachment of Donald Trump. There are uh, a lot of things going on, and uh, as the scripture says that uh, we must not be ignorant of the devices of Lucifer, Satan, the devil. What is happening is there is a trap being set for all Christianity right now to uh, all, all jump up um, on the uh, Donald Trump train. And uh, in, in these times of, of uh, emotional movements, that is of the earth, that is of the physical nature of humanity, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the sin is not far away. And that's what Lucifer, Satan, the devil is doing. He's bringing the church to the, to the pinnacle, the, the, the utmost fire of trial and testing. And so, you know, for a piece of bread, a man will transgress. And what is happening is that, first of all, the impeachment of Donald Trump is also a movement of God. It's a movement of God for the church to get out of the four corners of the earth. It's a movement of God for the church to get up and awaken uh, from off of the couch of Damascus. It's a movement where God is saying to the church that it's time to go and do exploits. It is time to elect the King of Glory, uh, the Lord of Glory, the President, the Owner, the Ruler of the entire creation. It is time to rise up and let our light shine. It is time to go out and to declare the favorable year of the Lord, that the blind may see, the deaf may hear, that the captive be set free, that the lame may walk, that all those who dwell in Zion will be comforted, that will be given a garland of praise rather than a garland of ashes. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Praise God. Yeah, he did. You got to say yes to that. Yeah, he did. He died for all colors. He blessed all colors, all nations, all religions. Yes, he died for the sins of the entire world. You got to receive it. Receive it, brother. Receive it. Okay. Uh, God bless you, man. God bless you. Okay. So, so the church is in a time right now where we are to give all those who dwell in Zion, that is the city of God, whether, they're, whether they have received the Holy Spirit or not, or about to receive the Holy Spirit, a garden of praise rather than a garden of ashes. You see, our struggle is not against flesh and blood. We're not fighting against the principalities of, of man. God bless you, brother. Receive the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ, the love of Jesus. We're, fight, we're wrestling against spiritual principalities. In Ezekiel 28, the Bible says that through the Holy Spirit, the, the written word of God says that regarding Lucifer, he says, indeed, you are wiser than Daniel. You see, Lucifer, Satan, the devil, is every time there's a movement happening, uh, you know, we have to look at it as an attack, as a, a clever move of Lucifer to deceive the church. That's its job. That's what it does. And we know that Lucifer, Satan, the devil is a temporary God of this world. So we have to counter that with the Holy Spirit, with wisdom and knowledge and understanding of what the times are. The Bible says in Chronicles and in Kings that the, the man, the wise men of their times, they knew the times. They were wise because they were connected with the Holy Spirit. And they did exploits. They, they, they worked, they did what they needed to do according to the times. Now is the time. This movement right now is God also saying to the congregation, the assembly, it's time to set up a signpost, an altar in the midst of Egypt. It's time to set up between the gateways of heaven uh, to the borders uh, that are of the earth. To so that the pastors release all of their captives, that the pastors release their congregation to go out and minister at the very closest corner, the streets of Jerusalem. 
to send the people out, all who have that yearning inside, because that's God pulling in their hearts, to determine uh, who, uh, who, who God is pulling to go and do these exploits outside the camp in their communities, in their towns, in their villages, in their cities, in their province, and in their country. That the entire nation shine with the light of Christ. It is time to do exploits. It is time. This impeachment is an impeachment against the church. It is a sign. It is an alarm from God. It is an impeachment against Christianity. That's what it's all about. And so there, the, Lucifer is using it uh, to, to, to get the final uprising. So that, because once again, when there's many words, when there's many, uh, when the flesh is involved, when, when, when humanity reacts and, uh, and stands up for falsehoods, they, became, they become depraved in those falsehoods, as, as the scriptures say. You know, don't, don't abandon the company of a fool because you'll end up being just like him. Abandon all falsehoods because you'll fall into a pit. And we're at the ends of the transgression. We're at the ends of the time where God said that he is going to cause Jacob to loosen his grip from his inheritance, as he said to Peter. He said, I tell you, Peter, when you were young, you used to clothe yourself and go wherever you wanted. The gates were open. The gates were open throughout the entire world. Come and go as you please. You have the dominion. But the time is coming when someone else will gird you and lead you to a place where you do not want to go. We must be girded with Christ. We must be girded with the wisdom, the anointing, with the garments of praise rather than garments of ashes, with the full armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the, word, the sword of God, which is the spiritual word of God speaking through us. Our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel and prayer, anointed prayer to God, our communication with God, our worship. We must understand the times that the Lord said that the harvest is white, ready for harvest. The white is the 144,000. They're wearing their white robes. They're wearing their white apparel. And the remnant must follow. They must understand this. They must be taught these things. Because once again, when the towers fall, it'll be too late. Many, many people, they, they, they feel the tug, they, they feel the pull. But internally, they come up with excuses. They say, well, I don't feel well. Well, I still have some skeletons in the closet. Well, I don't have enough money. I owe money. I'm not fit, I'm not ready. When I have money, when, I'm, when, my, when I'm, my, my sickness is gone and God heals me, when uh, I, I, I pay all my debtors, then I'll be ready. Well, that's not true. The fact is, is that when we step out, that is where God heals us. Without stepping out, we stay in the church, we stay in the pews, in the four walls, and we end up, that's where the illness comes from. That's where the sickness happens from doing nothing, from sitting still in the pews. When our calling, our pulling in our hearts is telling us our calling is to be out ministering to the lost, to seek the lost sheep of God. God wanders, God searches. When he notices one sheep is gone, he will wander, he will bring people. He wants his people to go and rescue that lost sheep. And he will rejoice over that one sheep. And there are many lost sheep that need to hear the word of God. And we must be ready. We must do these exploits for our own benefit as well. So that we can bear fruit for God. God says, I've, adorned, I've ordained you and I, will ordain, and I will adorn you when you bear much fruits. Because I've ordained you that you should go out and bear much fruits. And he's talking to his disciples. When we receive the Spirit of God, we are disciples of God. And we must understand our call. And we must test the waters. If we feel a tug, a pull, we must venture out and do everything regarding that pull, regarding that, what, what, that odor that is in us to serve God. Because when we serve God through the foundation of love, the love of Jesus Christ, even if that is not 
our appointed office, even if it's not our appointed office, God is still well pleased. And from there, God will lead us into the direction. He will fine tune us into the exact place where He wants us to be. God will always want us to go and minister the love of Christ outside the camp. To be a light, a shining light to the non-believers. To show the believers the true ministry, the true gospel of Christ. God bless you. To be the real ambassadors of God. Ambassadors that are to lead humanity to the Creator. We are ambassadors, light bearers for Christ to bring the, 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 the creation to glorification. That's what we're here to do. And we cannot do it sitting inside the church. We cannot do that as effectively of God, as God desires us to do. The ministry of God was also outside the camp. That's where his heart is. His heart is for us to go and seek outside the camp. Because when we practice our faith outside the camp, God gives us utterance. God gives us authority. God watches over us. And the world sees that authority. The authority that they do not see when the assembly is gathered together because of all of the division, because of all the strife and contention, all the haughtiness, all the pride and arrogance that's inside the four walls. They don't see it of, of so, many, so many denominations. They don't see it there. And they don't go there because they don't see anything different. They notice what Christianity is like in the world. Well, we need to be ministers. We need to be ordained preachers of God in the world. We need to be serious. We need to be always in warfare, always seeking to cut down and break down strongholds in others through preaching the love of God, not, the, not arguing with them, not heaping up fire within themselves, not, not being confrontational with them where they're putting their guards up, their walls up, but to put love into them, to be gentle with them, to teach them doctrine, to teach them with authority the doctrine of Christ. That's where God showed me that we are. Now this movement, once again, is leading to major uprising and major events, this impeachment. It is designed to bring the uprising to a close. And we are to be the ones to be elected of, of the covenant of God. We're the ones to show the world what the true covenant of God is. We are not the ones that are impeached. We have to show the reason why. We have to let our light shine. God has put that in my heart to speak that. That is the time. That's where we are. There's no excuse for not ministering out on the highways and the byways. There's no excuse. We have the Holy Spirit. And we get built up in times of tribulation, in times of... Uh, we learn how to have victory over Lucifer when we are confronted, when we face danger, when we face the enemy right to their faces, when we're right in front of the enemy, and the enemy is speaking, and we are speaking to the enemy. That's where we learn how to catch the prey. That's where we learn how to conquer. That's where we receive downloads of information from the Holy Spirit. That's where we get built up. That's where we get mature. That's where we become immovable. That's where we're being prepared to rule. So we have to seek God and we need to find out what He ha would have us do in this time. Each as individuals. It's not a matter of forsaking the gathering. It's a matter of taking the city of God that's in Jerusalem, heavenly Jerusalem. That's it. The, the Jerusalem that is of the city of God in heaven, Zion. 
and to take that Jerusalem and to be that Jerusalem here on this earth. To have our eyes, our hearts, our ears, our, our minds, our spirits, our brain, everything that we possess, our entire being set in, uh, in the city of heaven, set on he who sits on the throne. In vision, in light vision, seeing the Creator, being there with Him, receiving instruction from the King of Glory. That's what our practice is. That's where we get, that's where we built up. We have to build our spiritual muscles. The Bible says that strong meat is for those who have learned, you know, to uh, have exercised their senses unto, uh, you know, the, the discerning of uh, what is good and evil, what pleases God and what doesn't please God. That is of communication with God. And uh, that comes with reading a proverb every day and meditating on God. It comes with disciplining our spirits. It comes with disciplining our, our actions, our flesh. Uh, from, uh, re you know, rejecting, from coming out of all the carnality of the world of the things of this world and focus on the things that are of God. And God gave us His Word, His physical written Word, so that we can practice that. So we can practice our, our spirit and, and exercise our flesh and uh, exercise our soul, our body, into uh, studying God. Something that Lucifer really will he disables the body in doing that. He does not want humanity to seek God. And so he has a way of making it very cumbersome for the flesh. He has a way of, uh, he, they can, you know, he can afflict the flesh when we uh, go to open up a Bible. And we have to fight through that. It's like in prayer. When, uh, there, when we do not feel like, like praying to God, because we're upset, because we're hardened, we're dark, and something we did. We know we were wrong, and we don't want to go to prayer. That's the time to go to prayer. When we do not want to read the Bible, that's when we need to read the Bible. And we stay there, and God will, you know, He'll take five or 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe even 20 minutes, and then He'll reveal something afterwards. He's testing us. He's testing us. He's testing our resolve. He's testing the entire creation with fire. And we have to realize what, what, what God is doing. And we have to conquer. We have to conquer our own selves. Uh, scripture says we are to judge ourselves. We are, to, we are to do warfare on ourselves. We are to conquer ourselves. And then we're able to minister properly to others. We need to be healed 100% from lies and falsehoods, traditions of men handed down that have uh, deceived and that have become mainstream, commonplace in the spirits, in the souls, in the brains of humanity. We must seek the truth and receive the truth. And the only truth that we can, the only truth is, from, is radiating from the throne room of God. That's the only truth in this existence. The truth comes from the throne room of God. And He's our High Priest. He's our Pastor. He is the highest Pastor. The highest High Priest. See, he's the, he's the final Word. He is the final Word. We have the power of God within us if we utilize the power of God. We have the wisdom of the fourth dimension. A wisdom that is, that is far wiser than any other wisdom found anywhere in the creation. With that wisdom we conquer, we tear down strongholds, we put them to shame. We can wage a warfare, a good warfare, against Lucifer and destroy all of its plans and walk in rejoicing knowing what we have done because God will show us. He will reveal to us the victory. And that's rejoicing. That is real rejoicing. That is pure rejoicing pure security, pure peace, pure understanding and knowledge and pure wisdom. That's what we must attain to. The time has come. The time is now. We must 
we must get ourselves ready because when the towers fall it'll be too late when the physical manifestation happens that's it it's cut off it's too late and that time is being uh, conditioned that time is 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 advancing uh, through our spiritual condition through the times we're living in right now and so God wants to prepare us today for tomorrow he's that's that's his pattern he's always done that that's what he does the uh, manifestation is spiritual first then spiritual the conditioning is spiritual first then physical we must be attuned to these things and we must condition our spiritual walk we must exercise our spiritual muscle.